Okay, before we start, I want you to, to imagine this. You come from a seven hour flight and you're on approach towards the runway and of your destination and then all of a sudden you make a hard landing and you feel you feel really bad and you can't get rid of the landing out of your mind and I mean you know how to, how it feels when you make a bad landing especially on a very long flight like all the flight for nothing for us I mean for a bad landing but even if you survive you still feel that pain which you have to remove with with this video which is precisely what it what's what it's for and this video makes a compilation of of all of most of the landings that happen in several areas from the window view and the and the plane spotting view and if you watch this you you might get you might learn something new from how to improve your landings and so yeah uh, I encourage you to watch it to the end and uh, let's watch now this first one go uh, oh thank you for spoiling it damn it dang it but let's see I mean it doesn't really look like a crosswind landing at least from here Singapore Airlines cargo and oh my god Oh, it's gonna be a hard one, yeah. Right. And it didn't flare. Oh my god. Oh, it didn't even float. I mean, it didn't even bounce. Oh, it must have been too heavy, but anyways. Uh, I mean, it wasn't all too hard, but still, you should learn how to flare in, in, the, in, in the correct moment. Because if not, you're gonna lose time and you you end up in a hard landing. In this case, it didn't bounce, but most of the time you do, and that is not good. You lose runway. Okay, so yeah. Uh, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but still, sometimes it happens. There, are, I've seen worse landings. So this was why does it spoil? Like what? There's no necessity. Just, I just want to react to them. Oh yeah, there it is. There's a flare. There's a flare I'm talking about. It's a butter machine. An Airbus A330 from Air Allerg Algerie, Algerie, whatever. <laughs> Air allergy. <laughs> but yeah, that was an early flare. I mean, not not a perfect flare. So. I, so a smooth landing can happen. Okay, I mean this looks like San Francisco. Yeah, the, that's most likely San Francisco. Lufthansa, I don't know. From here we can't really judge anything because we're, we're not in the plane spotting view. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. One of the risks of of a hard landing is a uh, a tire a tire blown up because yeah the the mass the mass of the aircraft plus uh, the weight of the ground it's really really strong even at a smooth landing it's just that at a hard landing you, you increase those forces ten times or more and look at that. That looks awesome. Oh, that's also a cockpit view. And so we can really judge. Yeah, most of the times, we, uh, most, most of these landings are smooth, but they sometimes pass the touchdowns. And, and thank you. <laughs> I wanted to see that. And there's the touchdown zone. And, oh, that was perfect. That was a perfect landing. So yeah, for your next landing in the flight simulator or in real life, just make it and just try to not ignore the the flare because if you miss the flare, you'll just you'll blow out the tires I and mean, this the landing gear. And yeah, this is actually 
a pretty smooth landing. I'm guessing, yeah, this is a hard one. An A340 from Lufthansa. Must have been a really long flight from Germany. Oh no. Out. Yeah, this video was sponsored by Lufthansa and it's kind of, it, seemed, it almost seemed like Lufthansa was uh, sponsoring this video, but, but yeah, once again, an early, uh, a late flare, and there are not really any crosswind landings because that is actually a lot more complicated, and I wanted to review those. And yeah, that's a, a Airbus A350. From oh, I didn't read where. This is Delta. Oh, I thought it would hit the fence. Oh yeah, that was smooth. Yeah, that was smooth. Oh. Okay, still maintaining the nose up. Yeah, I'm going to explain later why they do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not really that necessary to make, uh, uh, to keep the nose up for after you touch down because in, in, at a GA aircraft, it's, it's sometimes necessary. It's called air braking, but in an airliner, it's not that much, you know, because you already have the spoilers, the the gear brakes, the reverses, you have everything, so there's not really any necessity. They only do it because it's cool. <laughs> it's not really a big deal. So don't worry if you haven't done it in in your entire career. Uh, an, oh my god, if it is actually quite uncomfortable seeing a, a huge airliner and bouncing off the runway or even crashing or something. Wait, this JFK. Oh. That didn't seem too hard. Oh no, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was, but eh. It's an A350. Yeah, it just bounced off a little. I mean, pff, not a big deal. It wasn't that hard, I mean, at least as an A350, I mean A3, A380, I meant. Oh, I think I've seen this one. Oh no, never mind, because the other one was actually a, a harder one. This is a smooth one. And it was that the touchdown zone? Yeah, that was a touchdown zone. It's a little bit too high, but oh, wow, very smooth. But it was late on the touchdown zone, and it is quite risky, especially if you're in a three fifty. It is quite risky. You don't want to involve any accidents outside the runway. And yeah, this is a hard one. And an A350. Let's dance. Why it's why is it gonna dance? Is it gonna dance? Oh, it's dancing. Uh, no, not really. What? Why did it say let's dance? I mean, it wasn't the hard landing. The landing wasn't even that hard. That was so weird. <laughs> I mean, those most of these landings are pretty default. You don't even because most of the hard landings come from come from crosswinds, and most of these aren't. So these are the rare case scenarios, if you like to put it that way. Because yeah, I think you've seen the other video I I made up about the of a me landing in St. Louis. It, it was. You know, there, there was a little bit of a crosswind, but after the flare, I messed up because of the rudder input. And, and yeah, I, I barely crashed. 
But yeah, so, so one thing you have to learn about crosswind landings. Now we're getting into this, is that when you're going to when you when you're going to crosswind, and uh, you have to the the nose automatically goes into the direction from from the wind, and that is why the aircraft seems to be a little bit off from the runway, but it's actually going to the right direction at the right way, and when the when it's above the runway, that is when you have to put some rudder. So, so you can put the nose back into the runway alignment instead of drifting off because that is what will happen if you didn't if you don't do that so, and that is where most hard landings happen and including mine and maybe even including yours but anyways that's uh, another topic I might do a video about that And in this case, it's it's a smooth one. It's a very nice weather and beautiful. What is the sunset or sunrise? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that is a crosswind landing. That is what I'm talking about. And I think in this case, you're 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 gonna be able to see it because the cameraman is. Is behind the runway, like I mean, in front of the runway. Because if it was in the side, it's harder to see it. But over here, <coughs> it's way, <coughs> it's way easier. Yeah, you'll see that. It doesn't put that much zoom, but oh, never mind. You can't really see the runway. Wait, what what is going on? Oh yeah, that was a crosswind landing. Yeah, yeah, it was uh the the wind came from over here. You can see the, uh, you can see the very in the the angle of the nose and the runway. The runway is actually going over there somehow, or over or towards over there. Uh, but yeah, it's it is still quite you know the the difference between the the angle of the of the runway and the angle of the nose. So. So yeah. And it suddenly drifts off, so So that is why you have to practice crosswind landings in Microsoft Flight Simulator or anything. And yeah, this is a smooth landing. I wish I could see a landing gear. It's, oh it's an A320. Eh. I mean, I mean, some landings with an A320 aren't aren't even that bad, but it's way better with the with the Boeing. I mean, with the A A330 butter machine. Oh, what was it? That was a landing. Wow, <laughs> quite smooth. You also really notice how much slower this. The A three the A three twenty is compared to any large airliner, due to the size and the the necessity for for more airspeed to just to fly enough, it is quite harder. Uh, at least in the three eighty, you uh, the the fly wire systems actually save you from learning that stuff. And yeah. The world is filled with automatics, or even AI. Okay, the landing is gone. Please just, please go to the next one. Please go to the next one. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's the only reason why. <laughs> that's a hard landing. I think that's going to be the last one for this video. I recommend you check out this video and see any flies you can you can see for yourself. We're not gonna complete it. That stands. What? That must be a mistake. Why is it gonna dance? Why is it gonna dance? Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it was quite uncomfortable. 
It was uncomfortable, but it wasn't hard. It puts hard with literal red as of saying that it's gonna be the worst one. But anyways, oh, that's gonna be a different one. Tidy. Yeah, this is this one's gonna be the last one. This actually looks very beautiful, so it should better be a a smooth landing. Wow. Never, never been in Tahiti, but it looks really beautiful, especially in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I think they did, they did an update for that, a world update. Oh, that was perfect on the touchdown zone. I think I felt it. I mean, I think I, I saw it in the touchdown zone. That was very, that was a really good landing. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it. And oh no, nothing seems to be wrong. But yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. And so, so yeah, if you want any more of these uh, videos, so you can improve your landings because most of, the, of these landings are pretty bad, but we can learn from them. We can learn from their mistakes they did on the crosswind or the the flare or anything because there are many factors on on the landings and let me know if you if you want to make a tutorial or some tips and tricks i can share about about landing so and so yeah if you're on the miss that i would highly encourage you to subscribe to not miss these and and yeah see you on the next video and happy flying